Hey, what's going on guys? Back with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Fenmore. I got a nice Rubingo ribbon to show you guys and uh, a couple builds. And uh, yeah, let's go take a look at it. So the first build I'm going to be showing you here is a Viral Heat. And the ribbon I got to show you guys today is a Status Chance Multi-Shot Damage Minus Critical Chance. If you guys are new to the Incarnate Weapons, there's one of the Evolution towards the Lash uh, trait. Right here, and it's 50% chance to deal 2,000 damage on non-critical hits. This is what makes some of the incarnate weapons, like, very overpowered. That's, like, the Fel Arcs and the uh, Latum. I did make a video on those, so if you guys want to scroll down to my channel, you can see my builds on those. And, uh, yeah. So here are the other evolutions I got here. I got the plus 80% projectile speed on a second. I got uh, on Hedgehog Kill, 20% chance to instant reload. And, uh... We got the fourth uh, evolution, plus 20% status, and minus 10% critical chance. And uh, as you can see, we got negative crit chance. So we're not going to be critting at all. And with the status chance on the ribbon, I get to go over 100% uh, percent status. So yeah, guaranteed A proc within those, uh, the multi-shot. And yeah, uh, looking back in the build, we got the Bane mod. Um, you could add Vile Acceleration instead of Shred, but just for the punch through on the, um, semi-fire, this is the only way to get punch through. The Incarnate Farm has innate punch through already, so if you didn't have any, you could just have that base three. But, uh, yeah. Now let me show you the build. And, uh, I got some 190 Corrupted Heavy Gunners and... Uh, Bombard here to kill and let's go check out how the build works And yeah, we're wrapping up that damage You can see it, it it does a lot it does so much Now this is just the semi fire and uh, now let's go to the incarnate form Look at that. Very strong weapon. And if you were ever to subsume the Zaku's uh, helmet ability, uh, check this out with the Zadus Whisper. This double dips the damage since it's a projectile based weapon. And let's look at this. Oh man. Gone. And look at that. Destroyed those corrupted and heavy gunners. These are Eximus units. Not normal Eximus units. Very nice Robingo ribbon. Very great. And that is just one of the builds. Yeah, with the Viral Heat, you can you can switch this up. You can also make it uh, corrosive. Um, I'll show you that right now. So I'll just swap out the uh, cold and then put the uh, elec mod so we make vial corrosive. And let's go show you that. Okay, and just the weapon by itself. Look at that. Now evolution. Look at the incarnate form. Oh man, destroying these armed units. Okay, and now with the Zadus Whisper, let's show you that double dipping. Oh, such a great freaking weapon. Love it. Okay, and the second build I'm gonna show you here, I believe this should be um, better because it bleeds. And uh, yeah, I got the pure slash build here. So instead of modding the heat, you would add the 120 slash mod. And you go for the rank zero 6060, so we don't have the viral weighting like any higher. And we got primarily the slash damage, and that's our focus here. Okay, and let's show you this build. 
This is what I would use in disruption runs. So, you see that slash? It just, just kills them. I can't even proc deadhead. The slash kills him before I even try and get the kill. Okay, and then now let's do with the incarnate form. Oh, look at that. Just melts the enemies away. And we'll do the same thing with the Azalus Whisper. Another great, another great build. Viral slashes will always go f uh, far in in missions. Okay, and yeah, that'll be my last build to show you. This is the uh, ribbon right here. Status multi damage minus CC. And uh, yeah, this will be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. And uh, I will be uploading more content. Thank you guys for watching.